Hello everyone, happy to be back with another video using Notion for real estate agents. I'm Jess, I spent years working as a real estate agent, organizing my business, and I created this template called the Ultimate Agent Hub to help other agents get organized in their business. And so today I'm super excited to be taking you through something that has been long awaited, especially for real estate agents, and that is automations. So Notion just put out a new automation feature a few months ago, and that is within databases. So this opens up lots of new doors um, for us using Notion. And for real estate agents, I think there's a few really amazing ways that we can use this to our advantage to save time and become more organized. Uh, so today I'll be showing you examples of how you can use Notion automations in your business as a real estate agent. And you might want to stick around until the end because the last one is my favorite. So let's get right into it. This is the Ultimate Agent Hub. You can find the link down below if you are interested in checking that out. Okay, so in previous videos, we've looked at transactions and tasks that can take place within a transaction. But today we're going to utilize Notion Automation to fully automate that process. So for any transaction that you take on, your tasks would automatically populate into your task manager. I'm going to show you how we were doing it before Notion Automations and how you can use Notion Automations to achieve this automatically. So let me go into my all client database, right? So my all client database combines both my buyer CRM and my seller CRM. It combines all of my clients. And so as of now, without Notion Automations, we currently have a system where if I open Taylor Swift here, I'm going to open her into full page. So we basically have a system here where I have my client, I have all of her information here. I have AI generating some summaries here for me. I have my client portals that I can set up for this client. And then I have my task manager. And in, up until now, what we've been doing for task management has been using either a checklist, just manually checking items off as we move through a buyer or a seller's tasks. Or what we've been doing also has been to drag the items from the checklist into our action items here so that they then become a part of our master task manager. And just to show you where that's coming from, this is com coming from our database template. So every time I enter a new seller or a new buyer, I have a different set of tasks that will populate that buyer or that seller's page. So for new buyer, I've got all of the tasks here for buyers, and then I can drag those into my action items up here. However, now with Notion Automation, you might notice a little lightning symbol up here. So this will allow us to create new automations in our database. So for each automation, we have a trigger and we have actions that we can add when the trigger takes place. So let's say I'm looking at all pages in my cl client and lead database, right? So this is my my database here. So when a page is added, which means when I add a new client, you could create tasks in your task manager. And so we can add pages to my task list database, right? So when a page is added in the CRM, we can add pages to our task list database. So let's say we have a new client and we'll use the new task. And then let's say the first step that we want to take when we are onboarding a new client is to have them sign paperwork. And then we can add a deadline of today, for example. What else? We can assign that task to someone. So if you have an admin, for example, who takes care of all the paperwork with the clients, you can assign that to your admin. So I just have the two accounts that I have here, but I can assign that automatically to someone on my team. And then we can change the status to to do, a task that's to do, right? And uh, the very important part here is to change your relation because you want the task to be connected and related to this new CRM entry, to this new client. So we want related client to be this page, okay? So that's about it, but you can change other properties if you want other properties to automatically be populated with certain data. So have client sign paperwork, create, and there we go. Now we've created that automation. 
So I can also add another task. So I'm going to stay in this automation and I'm going to uh, look at this plus signs here, right? So I can add another task. What other task should we add to our task list database when we have a new client? So let me um, do the same thing. I'm going to fast forward through this part, but I'm going to add two new tasks that I want to implement whenever I have a new client. All right, so I've added my three tasks that I want to automatically have whenever I have a new client. I'm going to hit save. And you see here that I've got one trigger and three automated actions. And now we can test it out. So let's say I create a new client here. I'm going to click new. I can call it client Dolly part. And then if we go down here, we can already see that this client has three new tasks and those tasks were automatically populated just from us creating that notion automation. And if I click on new seller, for example, I have my template that's going to populate in a second. And we will see that under to do, we have those three tasks here. So that is awesome. What you might want to do is create these kinds of automations directly within your transactions, for example. So you could click on one of these transactions and have a list of tasks ready to go when you create a new transaction. That could include a bunch of list items. So if I look at the examples that I have here, we have setting up of coming soon sign, having the keys cut, collecting details, writing listing descriptions, scheduling the photographer. So all of the activities and tasks that you have to complete when you take on a listing client. Extremely powerful that Notion is now allowing us to build out our systems in a truly automated way where we don't need to manually go in and write down all of the tasks that we need to complete for a client. Now, another thing that I've been asked multiple times in the past is whether it's possible to have tasks dynamically populate into our task manager as a transaction moves between different statuses, right? So if I look here at the different statuses that I have for my clients, wouldn't it be cool if I could have specific tasks that populate when I have a new lead? And then maybe when I'm at the pre-approval stage, I have another set of tasks that get populated into my task manager. And again, when the client is actively searching, what set of tasks do I need to complete during that phase of the process, et cetera, et cetera. Sale under contract, sale firm. What are the tasks that have to be completed at each of these steps? And with Notion, now we can actually have those tasks populate by simply changing the status here. So by simply changing the status, I'm going to show you how you can have all of the applicable tasks populate into your task manager. So in a similar fashion, I'm going to create an automation. And what we're going to do is have this automation get triggered when the status of the property changes. And I'm just noticing that we're not able to select more granularly from each of these statuses. Notion is only allowing us to look at them as groups. So as the to do, as the in progress, and as the complete. And if that's okay with you and that, that works for your, for your systems, then you can go ahead and continue with the status property as is. However, if you need something a little more granular, you would have to actually change this into a select property as opposed to a status property. For now, I'm just going to leave it as is because I don't want to change the template that I'm working in too much. But that's what you would have to do if you wanted to have more control over the tasks for each and every um, status change. However, let me give you the example so you can um, learn to do this and create the automations that you need to create for your own business. Okay, so what you would do is create new automation and then the trigger would be property edited. So you have page added, which is the one that we were just using. Now we're going to be using status, right? So there's the groups, right? So there's the to-do, the in-progress, and the complete. So my to-dos include mostly new leads, whereas the in-progress would include people who are actively searching and actively working with me. And then complete would include anyone where the transaction has been completed. So let's say status is set to complete. So once someone has completed a transaction with me, status is set to complete. What do I want? I want tasks to be added to my task manager. So 
I'm going to be adding pages to my task list database. And that task would be, for example, send a closing gift, or I'll say order and send a closing gift. And then again, very important, you want the related client to be this page because you want this task to be connected to the client that we're dealing with here, the client for which the stats has just been changed. So related client is this page. If we want to add any other properties such as status could be to do, we can assign it to someone specific. If there's someone on your team who is um, responsible for taking care of closing gifts for all the clients, then you can assign it to that person and whatever other properties you want to uh, have automatically populated there. Okay. And now if we wanted to add another task, when the status is set to complete, we could do the same thing. So add pages to my task list database. And what else would we do when the transaction is closed? We can send closing instruction. Okay. Again, if you have an admin working on this, you can assign it to that person. And you, again, want to have a related client be this page. There we go. So we've got the first automation that we created, which was when we create a page in our CRM, we're going to have three tasks populate. And then the second uh, way that we can implement this new feature would be when we have a status change, we then want tasks to be created for the client under which the status has been changed. And so let's say Kitty Perry's home has now been sold firm. I'm going to change the status to sale firm. And now that the status has been changed to a group under the complete section, we should see here the two tasks that have been created, which we, we have just automated. So send closing instructions and order and send closing gifts. Now, another thing that we can do is add that deadline. So if you want that deadline to be today, today, and we can totally do this in the actual automation. So if I edit another property under that event, I can do deadline is today. That way I don't have to worry about inputting my date manually. It'll automatically show up as a task that needs to be completed as of today. And then what's really cool about that is yes, it will show up in here and it's got those dates, but it will also show up in every other view of my task database. So if I go in here, today's tasks on my home dashboard of my ultimate agent hub, I'll be able to see those two tasks that have been entered for Katy Perry. So now I have a more broad view of all the tasks that I need to, to complete for my different clients. So I'm sure you guys can think of a variety of other ways um, that you could use these notion automations. Let's say, for example, in the pre-list stage. So if the status gets changed to pre-list, we could start preparing all of our social media content. So then we could create an automation which automatically inserts pieces of content that we need to create in our social media planner over here. Right. So we have our social media planner here so we can connect different databases this way and have triggers in one database populate pages into another database. This is unlike anything Notion has um, allowed us to do before. And I think that if you put your mind to this, you'll be able to find a ton of other ways that you can use this feature for your business and to make things a lot easier for you and make sure that you never let anything slip through the cracks again within your business. I'll give you a quick overview of what plans Notion Automations is included under. So as you'll see here, we've got the four different plans and you will need a plus plan or higher in order to get this Notion Automation feature. So if I scroll down here, we have the basic automation. So you, you can create buttons with the basic free Notion plan, which I'll put a video up here to show you how to use those Notion buttons. But in order to use custom database automations, which is what I just took you through, you will need the plus plan or higher. All right, that's it for today with Notion Automations. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jess. You can find this template in the link in the description. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to let me know that you would love to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Cheers.